We are creating the world's smallest spaghetti alla carbonara with my new kitchen. Before we get into the ingredients, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know another world record most amazing pasta comes out. And after we're done, we're going to be submitting it to the Guinness World Records for smallest, tiniest pasta dish, carbonara pasta dish. So let's see how we can make this. First thing we're doing is we're setting our pasta water to boil in my mini pasta pot. It's gonna fill it up with water. We're putting a tea light candle, two of them, at the bottom of the stove. So now let's light them up. When you're cooking on this kind of stove, if you want your uh, water to boil faster, put a little lid on. This works on any stoves, but you know. Mm -hmm. Now we start sizzling the guanciale. First we prep it. I have a little mini chef knife. We're gonna get a little piece of guanciale bacon. I'm going to cut it. Guys, this is gonna be the first time a carbonara spaghetti that not only is the tiniest in the world, but it will be the tastiest carbonara in the world. And I'm gonna get someone else to taste it so that there's no, you know, no foul player. The guanciale is ready. Got a little pan here. Ooh, it's hot! We're gonna sizzle the guanciale. This reminds me of this stove I had when I started cooking. It's actually exactly like that. It had a really hot plate all over the top. A gas stove that was constantly on. So let's see. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Got my little tools here. We're gonna use one of these cute little spatula. See how the pasta water is doing here. Ooh, there's little tiny bubbles. Almost there, almost there. While the pasta water boils and the guanciale sizzled until perfection. Because we're not just making the tiniest spaghetti carbonara, but we're making the tiniest, most tastiest spaghetti carbonara. I am making the sauce with the egg yolks, the pecorino, and the black pepper. So now, let's do this. We've got a little bit of egg yolk here. And then black pepper. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix it up with my spoon. The pasta gods are judging me, making sure that I remember to use the tears of the gods. Got this perfect creamy carbonara. I'm gonna leave the spoon right there, it's perfect. Look at the creaminess. So let's have a look at the bacon, it's almost done. Now we're gonna pick up this. Ooh, look at those bubbles! You know, this is the tiniest but mightiest incredible dish. Look at the crispiness, so crispy. Oh, this is like almost there, almost there. It's almost time for the salt to go in. So we got one side that is definitely stronger, so I'm going to switch the position. I'm gonna put the pasta water over here, and I have one shot over there. This is definitely copper, very conductive. It conducted all the way to the tiny little handle. Ooh, this is ready! Oh my goodness! A little salt. Put the lid back on, bring it back to a boil. Now I'm gonna leave it inside this pan. I'm going to try, mm, no. I'm gonna put the guanciale inside the saucepan. I'm gonna make it perfectly al dente and I'm going to show you how we use the pasta water. I'm gonna create something spectacular here. I'm gonna add the guanciale pieces to my saucepan. Chalet sizzled goes in. 
sounds really crunchy and crisp. It's ready. Spaghetti going. Now we gently tap on them. As they get softer, they'll kind of bend and go inside the box. This is a great precision work. Spaghetti are going in. You do not break the spaghetti. Now they cook perfectly al dente. These are really tiny spaghetti. I use spaghettini. So they will cook in one, probably two minutes. Final moment of the day. We are emulsifying the spaghetti in our sauce. Bring the spaghetti in the little pan. I have to mix it. A little bit of pasta water goes in. Look at that carbonara! Okay, we are ready to plate all the sauce. Beautiful, a little bit of guanciale on top. We put a little extra black pepper on top. And voila! The tiniest, most incredible, now I'm gonna taste it as well, it's gonna be the most tastiest carbonara in the world. Uh, for this one, since, I mean, we could taste both of us. I'm gonna call my brother. Ago, please, I made the tiniest carbonara in the world. That's good enough for the brother test. The but I want to taste some too, so now, we're going to have gonna to this. separate the dish. Yeah, Hold that's on. fine for me. You can... No. Hold on. Okay, ready? I'm going to get you some uh, guanciale Me. too. Okay, ready guys? Mamma mia! Mamma mia! How will you manage to make a good carbonara? It's, it's incredible! Okay, now my turn. Oh, this is so good. Ma come hai fatto? You know, I guess this is like a, the true test of uh, a master of carbonara that you can make it in any sizes and make it taste incredible. This is actually incredible. That was good. It what? was a tiny portion though. Okay, Just we're saying. fasting today. We're fasting? Like and comment down below if you've ever seen, no you haven't, because I know that, I googled it. You've never seen something, a carbonara this small, and try to make it with your kids. See how it comes out, it's so fun. We got this little kitchen on Etsy, by the way. I think kids will love it. And as always, remember, you are amazing. And so are we. See you next time.